Hello everyone, welcome to Network Talks. I hope you are doing great and absolutely fine. Today, in this video, we are going to see how can we set up Palo Alto Firewall Virtual Instance for lab practice. So, before starting the video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done yet, and click on the bell icon so you won't miss any videos coming in future. Thank you. In this tutorial, I will discuss about these three points. First point is, get the right image for the Palo Alto Firewall VM instance. So firstly, you need to finalize the target Panos version, which you need to test in lab environment. For the demonstration, I'm going to use Palo Alto latest OS image to build the virtual instance. We need to download the image file from Palo Alto Network's support site. I will show how to download the image. Second step in the video is run the downloaded image file in VMware Workstation software. We are going to use VMware Workstation software to spin the Palo Alto Firewall virtual instance using downloaded image file. The third and last steps in this tutorial is to get web UI access as well as SSH access to Palo Alto Firewall virtual instance from your local laptop or desktop. For this, we need to do virtual night card mappings to get the access. I will explain you all the steps in detail as much as possible. So don't worry. So, now I'm logged in on Palo Alto Network support portal to download the Panos image. I am using valid support account to log in. Without a valid support account, you cannot download the image, so make sure you get the valid account to download the image. Here, you need to browse to updates. You will see here different updates like dynamic updates, software updates, cellular updates, and other. To download the Palo Alto Firewall image, click on Software Updates. Under Software Updates, search for Panos for VM series base images. Once you filter, you will see different Panos version images for the download. As I said earlier, I'm going to use Palo Alto Firewall latest version image for the demonstration. So, I will download Panos version 11 latest image. Once you click on download option, it will start downloading the image file. So the Palo Alto Panos image is downloaded. We will create virtual machine using this image under VMware Workstation. On VMware Workstation, go to File and select Open and browse to the folder where your image is downloaded and select the target image. Here you need to give name to your VM instance that you want. I'm giving this virtual machine name as Palo Alto Latest OS VM. Now browse to the path to save all the files related to this virtual machine at a specific location and click Import. Once you import the image, VMware Workstation will import image and create the virtual machine using it. This process will take a minute or two. Now our virtual machine is ready to power on. Let's power on the virtual machine. Now VMware Workstation will boot the virtual machine and power it on. This process might take 8 to 10 minutes. Do not close the machine during the process. Let it take its own time. As soon as virtual machine is powered on and ready, it will give you login prompt. Now you can see our login prompt is ready. Default login for any Palo Alto firewall is user ID admin and password is also admin. Once you put the default credentials, it will ask you to update the default password. I am updating the new password right away. Here, we are logged into our newly built Palo Alto firewall virtual instance. Let's check the management IP address of this firewall first. The current IP address of the firewall management interface is showing as 192.168.1.10. The default IP address of any Palo Alto firewall is 192.168.1.1. Ideally, we should have seen 192.168.1.1 as its management IP address, but we are seeing it different. This is because of virtual adapter settings in VMware Workstation. So no issues. Now, last part in this tutorial is to get access to the firewall from local system. For this, we need to do the network interface card mappings. For doing virtual network interface card mapping, we need to first check the virtual NIC being used for the management interface of the firewall. 
we can check this using MAC address of the management interface. Now, I will check the MAC address of Virtual Neek with Firewall. To check it, click on one of the network adapter, go to Advanced option. Here, you can see the MAC address of the selected network adapter and match it with the MAC address of the management interface of the firewall. We can see that MAC addresses are matching, so it means this is the network adapter where we need to make changes to get access to the firewall from local system. Now, we need to see virtual network adapters available on our local system. Here, on my system, you can see total three virtual network adapters available to use. From these, I will be using VMNet1 adapter for getting access to the firewall. On your system, you might see virtual adapter with different names. You can use the available virtual adapter for mappings. I will check the current IP address of the virtual network adapter 1. As we can see, the IP address of this virtual network adapter is 192.168.137.1. To get the access of firewall management interface from local system, we need to make sure that firewall management IP address and this virtual adapter on our local system should be in the same network. Now I will go to our Palo Alto firewall virtual machine and map the virtual adapter 1 to it. This is nothing but binding the VLAN to the interface in network switch case. The next step is to set static IP address to the management interface from network range 192.168.137.x. I'm configuring here. Static IP is 137.250 with slash 24 subnet mask and default gateway is 192.168.137.1. This will make sure my local system's virtual network adapter and firewall management interface are in same network subnet. Now we need to commit the changes to make it as a running configuration. This is nothing but pushing the firewall configuration changes. It takes one to two minutes to complete it. As commit is completed, we will verify the changes done. Now we can see the management IP address that we have configured. Let's try to ping firewall management IP from local system and see if it is reachable. Great news, yes, firewall IP is reachable from my local system. Now let's try the web interface access to the firewall. We are getting the web login page to the firewall. I will use the user and admin and password that I had set up during initial login. Finally, we have logged in into the firewall web interface. Now, you can do all the cool stuffs in your lab firewall. You can test almost every configuration in the lab firewall that you do in the production environment. This completes today's tutorial. In future videos, I will try to show you different configurations and testings. So stay tuned. I hope this was informative and I would like to thank you for watching it. If you liked the video, please share it with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe my channel, that is Network Talks. See you again in the next video. Till then, bye.